CNN's Karen Kaifa is standing by with more for us this morning. So, Karen, let's talk about the president, what he's up to today, still refusing to concede. What's the latest that you are hearing from the White House this morning? Well, Marcia, the White House does not have any public events on President Trump's schedule for today. Of course, that is always subject to change at any time. And the item on Vice President Pence's schedule is actually a meeting with his coronavirus task force. But we do understand that within the last hour or so, there has been an all-hands meeting of Trump campaign staffers at the headquarters across the river in Arlington, Virginia, in which top campaign officials, including campaign manager Bill Stepien, have said that the president is still in this fight and that they believe that the election is not over. Of course, President Trump last week said that his team was going to pursue a number of legal challenges designed to challenge the outcome of the election in these key states that were the deciding factor in the race between he and Joe Biden. It's unclear exactly how these legal challenges would be able to move the needle in terms of the tens of thousands of votes in some cases necessary that would put uh, Trump on top of Biden in some of these states. But it looks as though the campaign strategy will be to continue on. Another interesting wrinkle in all of this is that campaign staffers are only being paid through November 15th. So if they want everybody on board with this in an all hands on deck approach, they actually have to move pretty quickly as a number of these staffers will stop getting paid next week. So certainly the campaign putting up the front that they do continue to plan to fight even as the Biden-Harris team starts to move on with the transition, Marcia. Yeah, and let's talk a little bit more about that transition. Do they really need President Trump and the White House to fully cooperate or can they just go ahead with their plans and hit the ground running? Well, the Biden, uh, the Biden transition team will be unique in terms of setting up their administration in that a number of the people who will be involved in it were in government as recently as four years ago as members of the Obama-Biden administration. So this is not a novice team that we're talking about. However, where it will come into play will come with the release of federal funding that is set aside and designated for the transition. Before the Biden transition team can have access to that funding and also some help with things like national security clearances and background checks that they need to be ready on January 20th, they need to have the General Services Administration sign off. This is something that takes place whenever there is a new president elect and this is traditionally done to release those funds formally acknowledge the new president-elect and get things moving. The person in charge of the General Services Administration is a Trump appointee right now and so far has shown no signs of really making a move before the president does. So while you don't necessarily need the president to concede the race and the General Services Administration to make this formal acknowledgement before the Biden team can start setting the table, as they have with that event today, it certainly will help. But the Biden transition team, for their part, has been working on this for months. It's actually a federal requirement that the campaigns do that to make sure that they use this 10 weeks as efficiently as possible. Right now, they have about 150 staffers involved on that transition team. It could get as large as 300 by the time Inauguration Day comes around. But again, it would help to have that funding for things like telecommunications, office space in some cases, maybe not so much in the middle of a pandemic, travel for the president-elect. So certainly this is something we're going to be watching here, Marcia, in the coming days. Okay, Karen Capa for us in Washington. Karen, thank you so much. Appreciate that.